we are on day six now. So the puppies will be one week old tomorrow. That's um, a dark blue little boy, little chubba. I don't want to give him a complex, so I should stop, keep saying that. Okay, hey, hey, hey. This is a little... I think this one has a tug. Oh, no, she hasn't. Oh, but she needs a clean, Mum says. Oh, she needs a clean. Let's wake her up a bit. <laughs> and as you can see, they are all, gosh, doing so well. You can't get a good shot of them there, the way Bindi's lying. I don't want to pull her around. But yeah, they're gorgeous. Aren't they, Bind? Oh, this little girl. They're gorgeous, Bubba's. Look at them, yeah. Oh, they're strong and all getting their fair share by the look. So all's going well for day six. It's their first week anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> and Bindi's smiling. He's smiling, Bind. Good. Yeah. Oh dear. You don't tread on the bubbles. Look how they get around. It's pretty unbelievable. Really can scoot around quite quickly. <laughs> okay, I will film tomorrow when they're exactly one week old. Try and get some more in on the picture. Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Cube from Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Call it the Sunshine Coast. I think not today. Not today. It's very gloomy and overcast and we're having a fair bit of rain but you know can't complain here in Australia that's for sure. We have it brilliant most of the time so I think the the advertising goes perfect one day a beautiful one day perfect the next that's it so today I'm just doing this a uh, little flip and lip out of tutti, fr tutti fruity colors because I just want to test um, what it comes out with a flip cup flip and lip and then I'll go my bigger one um, so I'm doing this 20 by 25 and then I will move on to the um, bigger canvas which is 50 by 40 I think centimeters so we'll go with this little tutti frutti I'm going to use some nice really bright vibrant colors I will um, load the canvas up actually I'll I'll just put my colours on, on this first. So I have um, mixed all of my colours with the 7030 craft glue. If you're in Australia, this is easy to find. If you're in Europe or the USA, I would definitely, definitely use Elmer's glue all because it gives the, uh, pretty much the same results. Um, and I know that's a lot easier for the US peeps to get. So it is the Montmartre paint. So I've done it to this consistency. This is the turquoise. It's kind of not, it's just leaving a little trace. So we, we're gonna see how we go anyway. So that's the turquoise. I'm gonna go some bright orange. And the thing is, I can't remember whether I put any silicone whatsoever in these. So I'm going to test to see. I know if I get cells, it's obviously got silicone in. So that is the bright orange, bright yellow. I'm going to go back and have the brilliant red. So as you see, it's a real tutti fruity pour. Nice, brilliant, uh, uplifting tutti fruity colours. And I love them. So I've got this... Um, my big, my big puppy, Benson, is scooting around here with a ball. So he's just having the little fun, fun time on his own because his sister's in the other room, um, obviously feeding nine hungry little puppers, which are all doing really, really well. 
I will try and add a little video on the end or if not the beginning if I've already added it you know what I'm talking about yeah maybe I should put it on the beginning this time so here she goes um, okay so I will just pour a bit of the white she's just the brilliant white uh, mixed the exact same way I'm going to flip my cup over give it a little bit of time pour some more white around here you're having a good old time Benson hey so yeah this is in test for that bigger canvas I just want to see what it comes out like doing the flip and lip on the small one in these bright colors and like I said the main thing is I can't remember hey hey you make everybody's doggies bark when you bark Benson you want to come outside yeah I know no, you can't go out there it's all right um yeah I know that people have said when your dog barks my dog barks too so <laughs> sorry about that getting a bit excited so here we go here we go here we go gonna flip it or just should I just yeah maybe I just should let it out slowly around the white sort of like burp it out like such and lip it so that's lipping it is just running your lip through but look at those colors wowzers trousers oh that's pretty nice hey a bit of lacy kind of things happening there just put a bit of heat and see if i get any don't want to do too much to that before i've tilted that is lovely colors really lovely love it Oh, look at those colours. They are really, really lovely. I love them. Look, Benson, look at these lovely colours. <laughs> what your mommy's got. <gasps> oh, look at those cells. I must have put um, silicone in it because I wouldn't get all oh, those colours. Ah, oh, lovely. Really, really happy with those. I don't want to tilt it much further because I, I want to save those I'll just put a little bit of white on the end on the, the tips or tip corners whatever you call them edges I can um, fix those up no worries you're running around Benson like a little pony yeah Benson is growing unbelievably he's almost as big as Bindi He's growing so much. Oh, that is gorgeous. I just like it the way it is. It is a stunner. I'm going to just get my um, little skewer so I can lead it through the white bits without losing some of this gorgeous lacing that's coming up here that is beautiful i love it simple simple but effective those colors absolutely stunning so okay there was brilliant red orange uh it was the medium yellow turquoise and a bit of the viridian that nice green in there is viridian which is a really nice teal color oh and of course the white really really nice that is stunning i'm just gonna give this a bit of a whiz over to the heat gun I'm not 
really sure that that had any silicone in it because if I had put the Helmar silicone, the cells would have absolutely popped straight out of it. But what it, what it's caused instead is this gorgeous lacing. So that was just with my craft glue and water. Pouring medium recipe and the way I mix is in the below box. I mix to this consistency in this particular pour. So the spoon, uh, the little stirrer stands up in in the paint but it's not that thick that it doesn't let you know it's not that thick that it leaves a big a big trace so i know lots of people are saying consistencies is what they're not getting correct well i think that is probably just about a perfect consistency for a flip cup and i absolutely love that so i will move on to my big canvas now and do a five cup flip in tutti frutti colors so let me know what you think about that one it's so bright and vibrant absolutely love it ha hang on to the very end and i will um put some photos of it dry and i will also um yeah put a few photos of my puppies so hope you enjoyed that one it is lovely it's so much brighter than me looking in the camera now it doesn't look so bright but thank you for joining me. Thanks for subscribing if you haven't done so. I would really appreciate it. And it is free.